Good morning everyone, this is Brimster, and today I'm coming to you with another puzzle in the Sudoku U series. This is The Gallows by Coredump 11001010100. And you can look up that digit for yourself, but I found it quite funny. Um, so... Uh, this is, um, yeah, the Sudoku U series is a series of puzzles that have been created by attendees of um, Full Deck and Missing a Few Cards Puzzles and Paradoxes classes. I say attendees because uh, students or sometimes the, the, the lecturers themselves. So, um, yeah, this is, um, I, I love that this is a thing in the world and uh, supporting um, the group is definitely something I want to do. So, um, yeah, um, uh, yeah, I, I'm going to end up waffling if I keep talking. So what I want to do is I want to get onto the puzzle and focus on the rules of the puzzle. But um, if you want to reach out to Full Deck and Missing a Few Cards about the stuff that they're doing, please do. Um, but uh, yeah, it's really, really cool to see all of this stuff happening. Um, they did do a live stream as part of the Sudoku Con fundraising live stream a few weeks ago. Um, and uh, a lot of their students were involved in that. So if you want to find out more about it, you can always go check out the Sudoku on Twitch channel. Uh, but anyway, let's have a look at the Callows, the Gallows by Core Dump 11001010100. And uh, maybe I'll end up using the decimal number because it's easier to say later on. So normal Sudoku rules apply. So in every box, in every row, and in every column, the digits one to nine must be placed without repetition. Cells that are a king's move apart in chess may not contain the same digit. Well, what does that mean? So if I was to pick on this nine, for example, it would mean I cannot put nine in any of those cells. Now, normally I couldn't put it in those cells by normal Sudoku because they can't repeat in the same box or same row, but they also couldn't be in those cells because a king on a chessboard can move diagonally. So basically it means that those two cells also can't be nines. Um, so, and similar, this three means that none of those three, none of these cells, basically any cell that is surrounding a digit cannot contain that digit. Along thermos, digits must strictly increase from the bulb to the tip. So what that means is this digit will be higher than this, this digit will be higher than this, this digit will be higher than this, and that will continue along all the thermos. They're the rules. I'm going to, the theme may be a little dark. Let's hope the puzzle isn't. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. This is jumping out at me. This has to be lower than three, but this has to be lower than the digit that's lower than three. So we end up putting in a two and a one. Now, um, we've got one, two, three, four, five digits that are higher than three. The one, two, and the three must go into the box in one of those cells. But mm, now, maximum here are nine, eight, seven, six. So this is four, five, six, five, six, seven, six, seven, eight, seven, eight, nine. And this is anything from five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's not phenomenal. This is at least a two, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. So this is two or three, right? So this is maximum nine, maximum eight, maximum seven, maximum six, maximum five, maximum four, maximum three, but it can't be a one. So two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine. So that's quite restrictive. We know now that one is up here. Now, this has to be 7, 8, or 9. Wait a minute. There's... So this is a 7, 8, 9 triple. This is the 6. This is the 5. This is the 4. This is the 3. This is the 2. Because, and just quickly rolling that back, 7, 8, 9 here means basically um, if this was a 7, this would be an 8. This would be a 9. This would be, um, and that would have no fill. Actually, why can't that be 6? That can be six, and I made a mistake, and I'm glad I actually checked that because that was a mistake. This can be six. Six, seven, eight, nine would break that. So this has to be five because there are four digits higher than it in the box, and there's not four digits higher than... Yeah, this is the five. This is the four. This is the three. This is the two. But... And that means this is not five. It also can't be six because there's four cells higher than it. And if this is six, this would be seven, eight, nine, and that would have no fill. So this is the four. There you go. That's cool. 
Where is the three in this box, actually? Because the three can't be in any of these cells because of the anti-king. So three is here. Now, fives, these are six, seven, eight, nine. So these are one, two, three, four. Whoops. One, two, three, four. But I can't put four in either of those for multiple reasons. So four is in one of those two. Four is up here. Six, seven, eight with nine there. Can I not put eight in here is the question. Seven, nine, six, seven, nine with eight there might work. This is a six, seven, eight, nine quadruple. So that is a six. That is a five. So there's no five or six here. That's cool. That's very cool. This is a lot of fun. Two is in one of those three. This, this is fun. Now, five by Sudoku is on this thermo. Five, four, three, two, one might work. Five, six, seven. I can't put seven on this thermo. The maximum I could put here is actually five because six, seven, eight, and nine are gone. So what is that digit? The maximum that cell could be is five, but then four, three, two, one actually completely forces this thermo. If this is a five, this has to be higher than five, and I don't have any digit higher than five. So this is five, four, three, two, and one. This is now six or seven, because it can't be eight or nine. This is very cool. One is in one of those two cells, because one can't be in those, one is not partway along a thermo, so one is in one of those two cells. So now down here, one has to be in those three, I can't put it passway along a thermo, and that's not the one, so I just drop a one in the bottom of the thermo. Those two ones mean that is not a one, because both of those cells are seen by that, by Sudoku or King's Move, or just by King's Move. Remember, if this is a one, I couldn't put a one in any of those cells, and that would break this box. Four is up here, but I don't know that that's doing anything. Nine is in one of those two, because I'm not putting nine anywhere along here, and that nine sees that cell. There's no four here because of this four, and there's no three here either, but this is the four. Right, so three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is a one or a two. It's not a three. This is the three. And these are one, two. They're not three, four, five, six. Oh, they're one, two with a seven, eight, nine. I kind of don't want to do that. But we definitely know there's a three over here. Which means that's not a three. Oh, it never was. So this is a minimum of six because it can't be a two, because this would have no fill. So this is six, seven, eight, or nine. Mm. Two in this box. Actually, yeah, what? Two has to go in, oh, one has to go in this row. One can't go in any of those cells. One can't go in any of those cells. One has to go in here, but I can't put one partway along a thermo. This is the one. Now, two has to go in this row, and I can't put two in any of those cells or any of those cells. And if I put two there, this is one and a half. So that's the two. So this is not the two. Now, this can't be two, three, or four. So this is a minimum of five, six, seven, or eight. Uh, no. Well, yes, but, I mean, it's true, but it's not helping me. This is a known triple. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's no nine there. There's no eight there. Three is in one of those two, because this three sees those, and that three sees that cell. One 
is in one of the, oh, that's cool. One is in one of those two because this one sees all of those. That one sees all of those. That one sees that cell. So one is in one of those two, which means that is a two, which jumps over making that a one, which means that's not a one. This is a two, three pair. These now contain a one. This is not a one, but I had that when I got that. I just didn't use it correctly. Eight is in one of those three. So this is one, seven, or nine. Hmm. Two is, oh, hang on. Where's two? This two sees all of those. I can't put a two in there. So two is in one of these three, but that's two sees both of those. So that's the two, which means this is the three by pencil marks. That's very fun. These are now one, four, five, and six. Can't put six in either of those. Six is up here. So this is four or five only. This is, uh, yeah, I've already knew this was six, seven, eight, nine. So that was unhelpful. Except six is in one of those two. So this is only seven, eight, or nine. And this is a triple. These all have to be different. So that digit, wow. This is 789, and they all see each other. That sees both of those, that sees both of those, and that sees both of those. So these have to be three different digits. So where does that digit go in this box? That digit is not 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6. It can't go in those, and it can't go there. So this has to be 789, which means it's not 1, and that's the 1, because those two are the same digit. And it's not 8, so this is not 8. Eight is in one of those two. No idea if that was intended, but I'm using it. Right, so these are now six, seven, eight, nine for the row, because I've got one, two, three, four, five, but there's an eight, nine looking down. So this is not eight or nine, it's six or seven only. One is, oh, this is just a one and has been for ages. This is not a one anymore. And this is not a one anymore because of that one. So this is the one which by pencil marks makes this the nine, which takes nine out of there. That nine means that's not nine. That's eight. So that's seven. So that's six. And this becomes the nine, which makes that the seven, which makes that the eight, which takes eight out of there. The seven in the row makes that the nine, which makes that the seven, which takes seven out of all of those, making that the six and taking six out of those. And this becomes an eight, nine pair. That's cool. This is not a six anymore because it sees that by King's move. Probably could have got there faster, but again, I'm not solving for any speed record. This is a seven, eight pair, so that becomes your nine. This column, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, which means this is the seven and this is the eight because that not resolved the seven, eight pair. Seven is not... This is not an 8 because it means I couldn't put an 8 in that box. Oh, the 6 looks up, making that the 7. These are now 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. There's no 3 there. There's no four in any of those. So that's the four. This is three, five, six. There's no three there because of that three. There's no three there because of that three. So that's your three. The five looks in making that the six and that the five. Very cool. The five looks down making that the seven, which doesn't resolve the eight, nine at all. This is a triple though. Well, that two looks down. That's been there for ages, the two looking down. One, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So these are three and four, but there's a three there, making that the four and that the three. This has to be an eight, nine for the column, but that eight makes that the nine and that the eight and that the nine. This is now a triple. One, two, three, four, five, six, and eight. There's no eight at the bottom. There's no eight at the top. So that's your eight. These are a five, six pair. The five in the row, though, makes that the six and that the five. 
in this row, one, and the reason I'm picking the rows and the positions I am, a lot of experienced solvers will know that, but if you're not an experienced solver, the reason I'm picking like this row now is because I've got a lot of digits in it. So I'm down to very few digits that I can let um, place over. So what I'm always looking for is what is the most restricted cells in the grid? And these are at the moment from what I can see. There might be others, but these look very restricted because the only digits I can place here are four and seven because I've already got one, two, three, five, Five, six, eight, and nine in the row. And the four looks down, making that the seven and that the four. And I'm getting more information every time I do that. So there's now a triple in this box because I've got one, two, three, four, five. I need six, eight, and nine. And there's an eight, nine looking down. So that becomes the six. I take six out of there. I can then use this eight to look across, making that nine and that eight. And I'm just looking for where the most restrictions are. So for example, in this row, I've got one, two, three, four, five. I need six and nine to go into those. And then the nine looks down, making this six and this nine. Now, I could just be writing in the digits, but if you're trying to follow along and you're new to this, I feel that it doesn't really slow down my solve that much, but it really helps people actually follow what I'm doing. Um, if I just go, this is now a six, this is now a nine and everything, and you're new and you don't follow along, you may not get it and you may, it may, you may struggle. Um, so yeah, that's why I do it the way I do. This four looks up, making this the five. Now this... Column one, two, three, four, five, six needs a seven. The box now is just missing a five by the look of it. Um, yep. So this is a triple now. I, I don't have a one. I've got a two, three. I don't have a four. And I don't have a six. So these are one, four, six. The six, of course, wasn't there. I could have told that by the pencil marks. By pencil marks, this is not a one, which I can confirm. So that all comes out. Now, I'm not, oh, there's a one and a four looking over. So this becomes the six, and now by pencil marks, I can say that's the four and that's the one. The four looks back saying that's not the four, um, but I look at the row, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, um, and that five looks up making that the seven and that the five. By pencil marks now, this is a four. Um, this two, three, oh, this two made this the three and this the two, and now I'm down to a single box. Can't put two in either of those. The two goes there. These are three and six, and I'll use that three to make that the six and that the three, and that's the solution to the puzzle. Um, it's had four solves in 12.3 days, but I don't think these puzzles have been published outside of the class, so that would make sense. That was really, really cool. Thank you, Core Dump 404 That was a lot of fun. A um, little bit grim in theme, but I like grim. I, I'm, I, I like dark. Um, that was a lot of fun. I really did enjoy that one. Um, yeah, just good fun puzzles. Thank you everyone for watching. Thank you to Sudoku U for continuing to send me puzzles and I hope it continues. Um, I, my understanding is the puzzles may be ramping up in difficulty as we go through from here. I'm not sure. Um, I, I, I believe I've been told there might be some tr really tricky ones coming, so we'll find out together. Um, you'll see by solve duration, I'm assuming. Um, thank you everyone for watching and as always, good luck with your solving.